Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on the Exodus Garden Master Lost Sector. Now, as I've said, we are going to be doing it on Master Difficulty, and for everybody that doesn't have the Anarchy, and it's a promise I kind of am trying to keep, I won't be using it. So we're going to use the Hunter, I'm going to be using Middle Tree Void, uh, just for the area, the, the roaming super. I'm also going to be using the Bad Omens Rocket Launcher, and a few other little bits and bobs that we're going to talk about in the video. So, obviously, using Night Stalker, Middle Tree. The great thing about Middle Tree is, obviously, it's a Roman Super, so we'll be able to use it to take down uh, take down ads. But also, if you're crouched and get a headshot, you go invisible. Uh, usual suspects, Night Watch, Yan 7 Rifle for, uh, for Anti-Barrier and Overload, and Bad Omens with a Boss Spec. We're using Argent Ordnance. Now, that's very important because... All the other mods, although according to that I'm using Fireteam Medic, but you know I'm not. I'm using Supercharge, which allows us to have more charge. Well, like, charged up, so we get an extra stack. Uh, we're obviously using Stack on Stack, so we get more stacks every time we get one. And I'm using Shield Break Charge, so every time we break a shield, I'm going to become uh, charged by light. We're also using the Exotic Helm that dodge and I'll get my health back, because... Attrition is one of the modifiers for this Lost Sector. Now, this is quite an annoying one, and I'm sure most of you will have found that out for yourselves, because the Overload Champions and the Barrier Champions are in quite close proximity, and obviously with Attrition, that's the way you get your health back, so I decided to do it on something where I could go invisible. And I can also dodge and get my health back. So... Hopefully this helps you guys get through it. This is one of the... It's not the most frustrating law sector, I don't think. But it's it's definitely up there with them. So hopefully this guide will help you get through it and farm your exotics. So, obviously match game's on. So we, are, we will be faced with two void shields. Now those void shields will come in the form of these, a servant here and a servant further on. So keep your grenades as much as you can for those. Take down the first couple of enemies, make sure you reload. Now you're going to get a whole host of drag. So what I try and do is just put off a rocket and clear off a, a few of them, not too many. Don't waste your rockets on too, too many shots. Although, if you did have Spoils of War on your, your bond, which is a, a mod from the artifact, you could get heavy every time you finish a, a champion. I didn't use it here, but you can. So what we're going to try and do here is get this champion to finish it, get this champion to the point where we can safely fire rockets at him. You'll find the champions move about a lot when they take heavy damage, but this one behaved a little bit better than what it normally does. So I'm literally just going to whittle it down with a pulse rifle. I'm not going to waste another rocket and then finish off these shanks, which will open up the barrier that you see on your left hand side. Make sure that you finish all of these shanks before you move forward. You can see there's one hiding about there somewhere because we're going to have an overload and the longer you kind of stay out of the overload's uh, view, if he knows you're there, he'll start teleporting into this area and that's the last thing you want. As you can see he's pushed down already. Sometimes, as you see there, he will charge towards you. If he knows you're there and you don't do anything about it. So I'm just going to put a rocket on him and then I'm going to keep stunning him. I used a grenade because I've got, obviously, I've got uh, Surge Eater. Which is, uh, every time I stun one of these guys, I'm going to get my grenade back. And it just keeps DPS on him so that he can't fully regenerate. So remember, you've got your dodge, you can go invisible, the exotic helm helps us do that, but... The Perdition kind of fonts of light you see on the floor, the Perdition, the Attrition fonts of light that you see on the floor, they give you immediate health regeneration, but it lasts for a couple of seconds, so it allows you to play just a touch more aggressively than you normally would. So, now that you've cleared this area, you're going to have a champion up front, but you're also going to have some ads. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take this champion out first. We're going to crouch here and take him through this door frame. It minimizes the damage he can do to us. I'm just going to put one rocket on him because the Night Watch with explosive rounds, which is what I always use for these champions, stuns them enough that they can't really get too much fire back. If you keep critting, you see those yellow numbers, if you keep critting, 
you're going to be safe from his shots more often than not. It's not infallible, it's not 100%, but it definitely is better than no percent. So I'm just going to do the same again here. I'm going to put a grenade over because I'm hopeful. It's another overload and a barrier just, just in front of us. I'm hopeful that I'll get my grenade back. But I'm kind of hoping that my super will help me clear some of this next area. So my, my suggestion to you guys is take this guy. Take this guy first. See, I'm throwing the grenade. I'm quite cool with throwing the grenade because we are going to stun him again. I am going to get it back. Dodge, get my my health back and stop him another grenade as you can see and this time i didn't reload my rocket launcher and i didn't if you're going to dodge to get your health back make sure you've got your heavy in your hand so i threw that because i'm hoping to get another stun on him which i didn't grenade done its job so we're just going to kind of got the got the got the got the dodge here now what i'm going to do because there's going to there's a barrier champion here just gonna fire a speculative rocket over there. Break his shield. Have I got another rocket to fire? I'm not too bothered. And this is kind of the way that I looked at it. I wasn't too bothered if I killed him. I was literally just trying to free free him so that so that I could take the ads that will come out because he'll shield them all. So as you can see, I took them all and then I'm getting out of there. Took 90% of those, well, 80% if I'm being fair. I took 80% of those ads. I've took the overload's gone. Everything else that's really going to be hurting us is gone. So I'm going to back away, back here, and I can assess the situation. I've got heavy behind me. I know that I know there's exploders. I know there's ads as well. You can see those uh, uh, fallen grenades things come being thrown from the rooftop. They're all places to look. We took a majority of them. You see I've gone invisible and I get wall hacks. So what I can do here, as you can see I'm just I'm invisible so I can assess the situation. The reason why I wasn't too bothered about taking the the champion was because I literally just wanted I just wanted to get the rest of the ads out. And I wanted to get in there, get the champion kind of shielded so that, so that I could get in and finish the rest of the ads. It wasn't a big deal to me to take the champion there and then. I just, if the champion shields ads, the super will go through his kind of tether so you can still deal with those ads. So now we're going to focus on the champion. He'll always, he'll always try and do that. Got a dodge. Remember, have your heavy available if you need to dodge. I know I've got more heavy line about, but this is this area kind of done now. So if you're stragglers, we can take them from cover up on top of boxes and just you know, find out the locations. It's no problem. There's two more down there. I've got heavy there. I've got I've got a attrition font of light there, which will get as I, as I've already said, will give you health back for a couple of seconds after. You've actually used it. Now we're at the boss. Now my suggestion to the boss is don't 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 just run in here and start trying to damage the boss, right? You see here I'm gonna fire it, I'm I'm gonna aim my, my rocket, but you're gonna get quite a few ads that are gonna run at you. Make sure you clear those ads, because if you don't, you're gonna have to deal with these guys constantly coming in when you're aiming. So when you feel like you're safe. When you've got, when you don't see too much red on your map in front of you, then go for the boss. But un until then, just make sure that you keep yourself safe. You'll get drops. You'll get font of lights. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the boss. We've got two barrier champions here as well, and we're going to get more ads. Now, void damage is increased in this lost sector, which is why I went with this. Listen, I know people don't like seeing the anarchy in every video, and I think. I think I've proved my point that I can do these without without needing the anarchy. But more to the point, you guys can do them without needing the anarchy. And that's why I'm I'm going with what wouldn't be considered efficient loadout. So anybody that's wondering why well, I like to use weapons like that, I'm trying to use weapons that I know everybody has. So there is no excuse. You guys can get this done as well. The brick I was speaking about earlier, we went back for that now. And now we're going to move forward. And again, same same rules apply. Now, I would suggest you'll find this yourself if you're doing this. If you're using my loadout and you're doing this, you'll find when you fire rockets at the barrier champions, they will run away. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to try and break the shield. Once you break break a barrier champion shield, he won't, he or she, whatever you want to call him or her, they won't run away. So one's already shielded. I don't really want to fire a rocket just yet. I want to break the shield. And then get another. See, so I'm too late getting the second rocket. So I did actually fire a rocket, but normally they they kind of they kind of dodge dodge away from the rockets. But if you fire it, if you break their shield and then fire it, they they're kind of stunned for a couple of seconds. I think is the right way to put it. Now we've got a couple of ads. We've got this last barrier. Same rules apply. Break each, break the shield and then fire a rocket. So as you can see, I've thought better of just firing a rocket. So we want. We know there's ads there because we can see the the tether coming off the champion, but now we just we just want to. Uh, you could get unlucky when you get when you get these champions down. You could get unlucky that they will then move into a covered position. It happens sometimes, not all the time. Dodge, dodge. Now what he's going to do is it now he's going to teleport and now he's going to run away. So we need to break his shield. We've kept enough ammo that we can break his shield. Now I'm going to just pop super. Clear this last champion. That is your lost sector done, if, you know, for all, all intents and purposes. But when you open up this uh, chest, you're going to get another wave of ads. I'm just going to use my super just to go through them. And that is how you do Exodus Garden Lost Sector on Master Difficulty. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this helps. And until the next time, take it easy. And I'll see you then.